long division, four-digit dividend. In this lesson, you will learn how to divide a four-digit dividend by a one-digit divisor using long division. In long division, we carry out four steps for each digit in our dividend. A shortcut name for this is DMSB. First, we divide. Next, we multiply. Then we subtract. And finally, we bring down the next digit from our dividend. Since we have a four-digit dividend, we will perform the four steps of DMSB four times. Let's start the division. First, we draw the long division symbol. Then we write our dividend, 1,482, inside it. And our divisor, 6, on the left of it. The first step is to divide the first digit of our dividend, which is 1, by our divisor, 6. We do this by asking the question, how many sets of 6 are in 1? 6 is bigger than 1, so we cannot make any set of 6 from 1. We say there are zero sets of six in one, and we write zero as the first digit in our quotient above the one from our dividend. Now that we've divided, the next step is to multiply. So we take the digit we wrote in the quotient and multiply it by our divisor, six. 0 times 6 equals 0, so we write 0 below the 1, the number we divided. Our third step is to subtract 1 minus 0 equals 1. After subtracting, we note that we cannot evenly divide 1 by 6, so we bring down the next digit from our dividend. Bring down the 4. Now we have 14, and we use it as the new dividend. Let's begin our second round of DMSB. Can we divide 14 by 6? How many sets of 6 are in 14? Two sets of 6 are the most number that fit into 14, because three sets of 6 is 18, and that is bigger than 14. So 2 becomes the second digit in our quotient, and we write it above the 4 from our dividend. Now we multiply. 2 times 6 equals 12. We write 12 below 14, the number we divided. Then we subtract. 14 minus 12 equals 2. Now we bring down the next digit. Bring down the 8. For the third round of DMSB, we will work with the number 28. Can we divide 28 by 6? How many sets of 6 are in 28? 4 times 6 is 24, and 5 times 6 is 30. Since 30 is bigger than 28, 4 sets of 6 is the 
biggest we can fit in 30. So 4 becomes the third digit in our quotient, and we write it above the 8 from our dividend. Now we multiply. 4 times 6 equals 24. We write 24 below 28, the number we divided. Then we subtract. 28 minus 24 equals 4. Now we bring down the next and the last digit from our dividend. Bring down the 2. Now we begin the fourth and final round of DMSB. Can we divide 42 by 6? How many sets of 6 are in 42? Since 42 is a multiple of 6, we know that there are 7 sets of 6 in 42. So 7 becomes the final digit in our quotient. We write it above the 2 from our dividend. Now we multiply. 7 times 6 equals 42. Then we subtract. 42 minus 42 equals 0. Once we've used all of the digits from our dividend, we have no more digits to bring down. So we stop. Since the result of the last subtraction was zero, we have no remainder, and our answer is 247. Remember that a zero on the left of a number is a leading zero. Since it has no value, we can drop it. In this lesson, you learned how to divide a four-digit dividend by a one-digit divisor using long division.